Life Tackle uh, is a project about awareness raising uh, and development of capacity building in the sports sector, typically in the football sector. We are talking to fans, we are talking to stadium managers, we are talking to groundskeeper, cleaning ladies and so on. And all these people are kind of, they agree that certain improvements are necessary and especially the main target group of all these things we are doing are fans and they said the experience they get from going to a football game would be bigger if there were certain environmentally friendly practices uh, taking place in the stadium. In stadiums there are situations where plastic consumption, in particular disposable items used in food and beverage, can be avoided. There are new alternative business models and systems that fans, players, clubs are already getting behind, such as deposit return schemes. You've seen very successful examples, for example, in the Bundesliga with Bayern Munich and their deposit return scheme using reusable cups. So there's low-hanging fruits out there for the sports world to pick up and it's great to see the European Commission, UEFA and the national associations driving towards that. In Romania, we are discussing with two stadia. We're using uh, reusable cups, moving away from uh, one single-use cups. We're also discussing about uh, water management, about power management, helping them to install uh, renewable energy uh, solutions uh, for a new building they are now uh, preparing uh, at the stadium. The main outcome would be to show that something is possible because uh, the Euro 2020 is one thing but there are so many football games taking place everywhere in Europe at all levels so uh, the most visible championship in football in Europe will be this one and precisely people will look at what he's done take benefit from the experiences and hopefully replicate them and use these examples in the national or local stadiums everywhere in Europe. And this is where UEFA comes in. Once the pilot tests are over, once we have the results, they will be picking up these results and it will be their role to, as you said, to upscale them and kind of make something that could ensure replicability elsewhere. We start to feel that the drive towards systemic change is becoming clear, that systemic change is needed that we're in a climate emergency, that crises like the plastic pollution crises will not be solved by piecemeal legislation or pockets of activity, that this is going to require systemic change. Now each one of us has to do its particular role. The Commission uh, with the European Parliament and the Council who are the co-legislator, they put out rules and uh, regulations and directives to go in that direction. Uh, some of those have then to be transposed by the member states, uh, who can even go further, and then you have the regional administration, but then you know, we can write all the rules we want, but we're talking about, most of the times, behavioral change. So if this doesn't change, it will always be uh, fighting against uh, the current, and sometimes uh, we will miserably lose. So whether you talk about waste, energy or so on, it's, uh, yeah, there is a lot that comes from uh, regulation, uh, but regulation is more creating the environment in which the goodwill of people can really play, uh, play its role. Thank you.